Hello everyone, I am Dr. Frahat Ali and you are watching Dr. Square. The good news is that SPSS 30th version has been launched officially and now you can download SPSS 30th version from IBM company website. Most of the people are currently downloading SPSS 30th version from IBM company website and they are asking us to provide the guidance that they how can they activate SPSS 30th version. Let me tell you that there is no need to apply any kind of IP addresses for SPSS 30th version. The problem you are facing in a blank screen in SPSS 29 has been resolved. That's why they have launched SPSS 30th version in the end of September 2024. Now, when you download a software from IBM company, you will notice that the logo, the icon has a black sign and I will show you in this video that how SPSS 30th looks like. Moreover, in the next video, we will learn that what are the new feature has been introduced in SPSS 30th version and we will see those features in next many videos. So, if you face any kind of problem, if you want to activate SPSS 30th and you are facing some kind of issue, you can contact us through our email ID and through our WhatsApp number. Both of the things are available on the screen and under the description of the video. Right now, you can contact us if you need any kind of guidance related to the activation. And if you want to apply for the license to the IBM company and you do not know that how you can apply it, you can ask for the help. So let's move to the software and we will see that how we can install this software in our laptop or desktop. I have already downloaded the SPSS 30th version through IBM ID. You can make your IBM ID and if you need any help that how you can make IBM ID, then you can watch our previous video of SPSS 29, which is available under the description. And uh, you will get an idea that how you can apply IBM ID to the IBM company website. And when you will get the IBM ID, you have to log into your IBM ID and then you can download the SPSS 30th version. I have already downloaded it. Let's see that how you can activate the software. So this is the website of IBM SPSS statistics 30th version and uh, you can read these recommended topics on this link. This link will be available under the description and if you go to what's new in version 30th, you will see what new feature has been introduced and there are lots of new feature that has been introduced in SPSS 30. Go to this link and you can see what new feature has been introduced. Now the good thing is now you can perform multivariate normality test in SPSS 30th version. You can download this version, activate it and then you will find out these of versions in descriptive statistics normality analysis. So that has been introduced in SPSS 30th version. We will explain these feature in the next video. Right now we are going to activate it and here you can see in release notes that this software has been available now. And 30th September 2024 was the date then when this software has been launched. So let's see here we have SPSS 30th version. I'm going to install this version. So the installation process has been started. This is SPSS 30th version and the, the procedure is the same to download the software. You have to go for IBM SPSS website. You have to make an account there as you have already did in SPSS 29 case. And uh, after making the IBM ID, you will be able to download the software. So I'm going to click on the next button now. When you will install this software, the previous version will, will be disappeared and uh, you will only have SPSS 30th version. Like SPSS 28th and 29th version will not be available when you will install SPSS 30th version. So you have to click on the next button, install and you have to wait. So the installation of SPSS 30th has been completed. I have to click on the finish button now. Okay, so it will ask me to launch license wizard and you can also see on the screen that version 30.000.0 has been installed and I have to click on the launch license wizard and I have to mention the license key to activate this software. If you have IBM ID, then there is no need to go for this page. You can close this one. You have to reopen the software. When you will reopen it, the software, you will find out IBM ID and license wizard option. And uh, 
let me show you as well that uh, if I go for a restart option, then you will see launch license wizard option and reset license and restart. So I'm going to click on this one. Let's see. Okay, so this is the page. You will see when you first time install the software and you do not want to apply the existing license, you can log into your IBM ID. This is the way that you can activate your IBM SPSS software. I'm going to click on this option and uh, let's see that uh, it's asking me to provide the IBM ID. And if you want to see that how SPSS 30th looks like, then so this is the new icon of SPSS 30th version. If you download something from SPSS website and if the icon looks like this one, that it means that you have downloaded at SPSS 30th version rather than SPSS 29 version. So I'm going to mention my ID here and uh, later I will add the, this is my Gmail account, click continue, then mention the IBM ID. Okay, it will take some time. Receive a code on my email ID again. Okay, so this is the procedure to activate the SPSR 30th version. First, you will receive the code and then you will apply that code. And when you will apply it, SPSR 30th version will be activated. So right now, I have activated this software through IBM ID. The next thing that I can do, I can activate this version through IBM license key. So here I have activated it. Now the new thing that has been introduced in SPSO 30th version that you can see that how many days have been left in your license. You have to go file manage license option and here you can see trial expiry date which is 18 November and it also shows the email ID that has been used for activation of IBM ID. So this was the whole procedure to activate the SPSO 30th version. So if you want to create a new IBM ID and uh, you want a guidance, so simply you have to write IBM ID login into your Google Chrome page and uh, then you have to scroll down. You will find out sign up for IBM ID. Click on this option and here you will see it will ask you some of the information, account information, your email ID, your password for this account, then first name, last name, country, state or province, company. You have to click on the next button. Then it will ask you some more information when you fill this information. I have already made an account as I have already shown you that how you can activate IBM ID. And this is the procedure. I will share this link under the description. You can go to this link, create your IBM ID and then you will able to create account and you will activate SPS 30th version for 30 days. So I have installed SPS 30th version. This is analyze button and you will see all of these options here where you will find new features, normality analysis and there are some other features that we will explain in the next video. Right now, I am going to show you that how you can activate this software through a proper license. You have to go for switch license and restart. Click on this option and uh, click on the restart button. Click the no button. Okay, this page will appear in front of you when you want to activate SPSS statistic 30th version through proper license key rather than you go for login with IBM ID, which is for 30 days. I'm going to apply existing license and uh, it, it will ask me to launch license wizard. Let me click on this one and uh, click on authorize user license option. If you have a concurrent user license, your organization has provided you a license, then you can choose this option. I'm going to click on the next button here. I'm going to mention the IBM ID. So I have mentioned the ID here and I have to click on the add button. When I click the add button, then I will be able to click on the next button and here you will see the software has been activated and uh, I have to click on the next button. You can see on the screen here is the license for 30th version and it will expire on this date. I'm going to click on the finish button now and here the software has been activated. I have to click on the restart button and as you can see now the software has been activated. This is the procedure to activate SPS 30th version with IBM ID and you can also activate this version through license key. I hope you have liked this video. Thank you for watching. If you need any kind of help related to activation of your software, if you are stuck with the blank screen in SPSO 30th version, keep in your mind that this is SPSO 30th version logo. There's no need to add any kind of IP addresses for this version. Previously, 
IBM SPSS company provided some IP addresses for SPSS 29th version. We have made a video about that and link of that video will be available under the description. But there is no need to add any IP addresses for SPSS 30th version and the logo is the black line. Okay, so this is the procedure. If you still need any kind of guidance and if you want to see that how you can activate it, you can contact us. The email will be available under the description and the screen right now. Moreover, if you need any kind of consultation related to your thesis dissertation, you can contact us through our email and WhatsApp number. Thank you for watching. Keep sharing the video. Like the video. Bye.